good y'all this is your boy jack back again with another video uh yeah we just gonna get into it uh first things first uh these cool little wallpapers they work uh they're a part of the um the program that i have in the uh it's under steam it's uh, i got it from uh what was that who put me on to that ah uh, eta prime he put me on to that and it's a cool little program and you can put it, you can install it on, you know what I'm saying, on, on your uh, on your ROG Ally or any of the Windows handhelds. And this is wallpaper engines, probably like three or four bucks on there. And uh, yeah, you can put it on there and you can have a nice little, little moving little wallpapers, kind of like how I do. And, you know, you can cycle through them, which is pretty cool. And if you... You go into here and then you, you hit the little engine icon and then you can change then you can change the icons, you know, and you can have it. And this one's actually pretty cool. Cause like you see that? <laughs> and then you can change it some more. Man, I done messed up. Okay, here we go. That little OneDrive thing that came up. You know what I'm saying? Old mess up on there. But yeah, you know, you can kind of just change it how you want to. That's a little quick little overview. It's pretty self-explanatory. They got like a little, uh, it's not a store, but you know, like a whole bunch of ones that you can browse from and things like that. So I just wanted to show you that real quick and stuff like that, man. Shout out to the homie uh, ETA Prime. You know what I'm saying? I'll be on this, I'll be on this channel, man. He he the one got me hooked. <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, we'll go back under Armory Crate. And you know, saying we'll get the uh, the yuzu popping, and yeah. And my fault for the smudges and stuff like that. I mean, it's a touch screen and whatnot. So, anyways, uh, you come in here as you can see. Uh, I got the you know, saying I got one of the games we're not gonna name it because my uh channel is super small, so I don't want any of the, the, the ninjas coming after me. And uh, we're gonna uh, just go ahead and uh, fire it up, we ain't gonna say too much about it. We gon' we gon' we gonna get it together, and then, then we gonna we gonna see what they see what it see what it's working with. You know, <laughs> I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. I ain't that big. So you know, it does load up. I would say, um, out of performance mode, it probably runs on par with the uh, with the with the Switch. On par. Uh, graphics definitely boosted, but um, on par, you're probably going to have to do a few more tweaks and stuff like that. Um, the Yuzu program, you know, they're coming out with, you know, saying all kind of updates all the time. So I, I'm I'm pretty sure somebody going to come up with, a, you know, saying with a with a good fix and patch and all that other good stuff of how, you know, it, it, it's all going to shake out. So we'll check that out. And we will see, you know, how this matures over the next, you know, month, couple months and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to take them that long. I think probably maybe like a week, two weeks. Somebody going to have a nice, you know, 30 frames build. Because I don't think that this particular um, APU is going to be able to do 60 frames. I just don't, I just don't think, I just don't think it is. I think nice, you know, saying a nice little 30, you should be good to go. But yeah, you know, as you can see, it's, it's playable, you know, not a whole lot of stutter, but it's, it, it's definitely, you know, saying you, you, you can definitely get it in. You can, you can do what you got to do. So I thought that was pretty cool. So. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple little mods on there. So the mods do work on there. I'm running uh 1.1.0. So I'm not all the way all the way up to date with the other one. But as you can see, you know, still needs a little bit of work. You know. But this game is so dope that that honestly. You know, I don't even think it's going to be that big of a problem. So, again, I'm playing through the camera. So, you know, forgive me. <laughs> so, 
So we're going to uh, get up out of that. And you can do hotkeys. I did the hotkeys, but it's not working. So, you know, I'm going to have to mess with it some more. So, you know, like I said in my previous video, if you're not, if you're not down for the jank, don't sign up. <laughs> if you not, don't sign up, I can just, I can tell you right now, because you're going you're gonna to get frustrated and you're not going to want to, you, you're not going to, you're not going to want to do nothing with it. But the good thing I do do like about this is that anything that you do, it automatically brings you back to the, you know, to the armory crate. So I can definitely get down with that, you know. And you can see how seamless it kind of is going from emulation to, you know, something else. So this is this is pretty cool. Um, I don't have any complaints other than the battery. Like I said before, like I said in my previous video, I am not feeling the battery. The battery is it's too small for what this APU can do. And I understand what they were trying to do. They were trying to find, you know, trying to get the, the, the best bang for your buck and all the other stuff. But I would pay an extra, you know, 50 to $60 more for a bigger battery. And, you know, you get, get this thing a bigger battery, you know, then we're not running into some of some of those issues. Um, we got the uh, AOK Zoe A1 A1 Pro coming in to the studio. Uh, hopefully next week, that one has the uh, <clears throat> the next I would say incremental uh, 7840U, the the actual processor itself, and this is the 7840U, but it's uh, modified. So it's slight, slightly down clock, but I think they're pretty much on par with each other and things like that. But the, the A1 Pro has a bigger screen, doesn't have the 120 hertz or, you know what I'm saying, or anything like that, but it has a 60 hertz screen, but it does have a bigger battery. And it also, with, you know, with the, <clears throat> with the A1 Pro, it also has the 2280 drive that you can swap in. This is 2230, so it's the smaller drives and things like that. I got a bunch of these around, so that, that kind of works for me, so I don't have to rebuy, you know what I'm saying, any of the drives or anything like that. So, but yeah, I mean, you can see, I just went from the game that we not gonna name <laughs> and straight into uh, God of War. So I went from uh, Yuzu the emulator to and you can see you know running smooth running smooth and this is everything is on you know saying the turbo mode and stuff like that because i don't I, you know i don't want to want to run it because i mean if you're going to buy this one ain't no need to run it at anything less than what it's capable of honestly so that's just me i know other people play you know saying certain ways and they want to you know secure the battery life and whatnot but that ain't me. So there we go. So, you know, you know, stick with me. And, you know, I, 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 I'm going to keep pumping them out. These videos, y'all take care of each other. Peace.